Well, pronoun da pawb. Sit ydych chi. Well, mae hi'n hyfryd allan heddiw. It's lovely out there today. And I'm just thinking ahead to our virtual picnic that we're going to be having for VE Day celebrations on Friday. And what do we need to send? Invitations. I forgot all about writing my invitations. So, I thought today we'd look over what an invitation needs. When we write things... We need to think about who is going to be reading our writing. And an invitation is a really important reason to write, isn't it? Because we're inviting somebody to something. So, as you can see, I've decorated, I've drawn some bunting on mine to make it look pretty. And I've used red, white and blue, which is the colour of the Union Jack. And then down at the bottom, I've hand-drawn two very small little Union Jack flags. Because the Union Jack actually is made up of lots of triangles, so it's quite an easy flag to draw. I thought I wouldn't try and draw the red dragon on our Welsh flag, because who knows what that would look like. So, the first thing I'm going to do on the top of my invitation is I'm going to write what it is. And I'm going to be having a virtual afternoon tea, which means that... Even though we're all going to be eating afternoon tea at the same time, and me and my mammy are going to make it... We won't all be in the same place eating it because we can't get together, can we? So my husband and myself and my mammy will probably have ours in the garden all spread out. But we're also going to do it for my mammy's cousin and her husband and my, my husband's mammy as well. And we're going to drop their afternoon teas off on their doorstep, knock the door and not run away, but we're going to go then and give them a wave so first thing i need to write up here is ve day and i'm mrs richards because she's a lefty needs to just turn her page v e day afternoon tea there we go now ve day has got capital letters because it's the name of a special day and because this is an event my afternoon tea has got capital letters as well. And so I'm going to send this to, and their names are Joy and David. There we go. Now, it's happening on Friday. Let's work out the date. Today is the... Mrs. She's really got to work this out now. Today is the 4th. So Monday the 4th, Tuesday the 5th, Wednesday the 6th, Thursday the 7th, Friday the 8th of May. Friday 8th of May. And what's the year? 2020. Now then, our time is going to be, I think we're going to do it for about 4pm. 4 p.m., which is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So what does that look like on the clock? Let's bring the clock in. So we know that the little hand's going to be on 4. Mrs. Richard's clock does not want to move. My cow clock. Can you remember seeing my cow clock? Let's see if I can do it better with my other hand. That's better. Right, so I need the big hand on the 12 and the little hand on the 4. Because the big hand remember is the minute hand and the little hand is the hour hand so it is 4 p.m ped ped aero gloch four o'clock place now then if this was having a if this was a birthday party i might say dragon's den or i might say at say Aberdeen park but it's going to be in her own back garden so i'm going to write because i'm sending it to them i'm going to say your back garden okay now then I'm going to sign it off my mammy and my mammy's name is Christine so I'm going to put from Christine and Izzy now Izzy is her little dog who likes to be involved in absolutely everything so we're going to have to make sure that there's ham in some of those sandwiches because Izzy loves ham so there is my invitation so I've told them what sort of event it is 
So they know not to wear their swimming costumes or they don't know not to wear their ball gowns, don't they? Because if you were having a swimming party, if you didn't put swimming party at the top, people wouldn't bring their costumes, would they? So VE day afternoon tea. So who I'm inviting, Joy and David, because in case it goes to their neighbour and they might think they're invited as well. The date, I've got to tell them the date because they won't know what time is all, what day is happening. Friday the 8th of May 2020, which is V Day celebration. Time, 4pm. Remember, 4pm. Place is her own back garden because she isn't allowed to come to our house at the moment, is she? She isn't allowed to come to my mammy's house at the moment. She does come, but she sits on the wall at the bottom of my, my, my mammy's drive and my mammy stands on the doorstep. And it's from Christine and Izzy. And look how I've decorated it. So my challenge to you, can you create an invitation for you a picnic that's, or afternoon tea or party that you were doing on Friday to celebrate VE Day? Please send me some pictures on Seesaw or on Twitter because I would love to see them. So, happy inviting and I'll see you tomorrow for a craft video on making paper chains for your party. Hoi va!